Greetings and welcome once again to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today we'll be talking about a consecrated will. Luke chapter 14, verse 26 through 33. If anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you, in, intending to build a tower, does not sit down first and count the cost, whether he has enough to finish it, lest after he has laid the foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it begin to mock him, saying, the man began to build and was not able to finish. Our friendship with God in Jesus is the greatest relationship that you and I can have on earth. And yet it is often separated by refusal to submit to the authority of God in our lives. We'd rather exercise doing things on our own will. The Spirit is willing, but sometimes we say, I want to do it my way. Jesus provides a remedy for this when He calls us to take up the cross daily. The cross is where we give up everything that we cling to in this world. The cross is where our self-life is immobilized. This may seem restricting and painful on our selfish ambitions, but we must obey the commandments of Jesus and believe in the power of His Holy Spirit. We might be able to intellectually understand and agree with the call of self-denial. We might see the benefit of obeying Christ, even when it contradicts our desires. We might even sincerely pray that we would have strength to obey Him. However, when the time comes to lay aside our desires and obey God's commandments, we falter. It is not easy to say no to our own desires, especially when we have the means to satisfy it ourselves. The discipline of fasting helps us to practice by saying no to ourselves. Whether it's a sickness, tension in a relationship, a job loss or advancing age, we come to realize that we do not have the ability to control the outcome of our life. We must simply be patient and trust God in these seasons. Though we usually learn the lesson later on, Jesus taught His disciples the importance of prayer. In the Lord's Prayer, He says, God says, let His will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Learning that we have no control over our lives may not necessarily help us, but it could simply lead us to a place of trusting in God. As we take up the cross daily, we enter into God's way of doing things and we are freed from our own selfish ways. This is not an achievement, but a process that we enter in daily. And with God's help and with His strength, we enter into His presence with confidence, with boldness, knowing that He is with us. Here's a question we can ask ourselves. Are you willing to surrender and to God's plans? And in, are you willing to surrender your plans into God's hands? Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Lord, for your promise. We thank you, Lord, that you said that you are always with us. And even when times we falter or fail, your presence will continue to uphold us and strengthen us. Renew our thinking, renew our ways of which we think of God and help us to align our thinking to your word. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.